the internet historian in the building. Okay, the fall of 76. I have no idea. I know there's a, a game called Fallout, and they have Fallout 76, but I I, I don't know if it pertains to that, but we're going to find out. Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chill in Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. It's good, Holla Squad. We are the Little Squad on the YouTube platform. Listen, today we are back with another reaction. Y'all know we love learning over here, all right? And, and the internet historian has proven to be one of them them channels we gonna be watching a lot of this summer okay and now we have the fall of 76 uh, uh we're just gonna hop into it let's get it <laughs> is this a game review if you found this tape it means that everyone is dead or working at a different office. How did this happen? That's crazy. Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Bro, I finally watched the Book of Eli, W movie. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. I just got in bed, yes sir. <laughs> June 2018. Okay. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. Have we waited long enough, guys? Oh, God, yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game yet. Okay. My God, it was exciting. Did it tank? And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time. The <laughs> press conference. 16 times the detail. 16 times the detail. What does that even mean? All new rendering, lighting, and landscape technology. Okay. Four times. You said Fallout 76 is trash? Oh, that's tough. The map size. It is four times the size good. of Fallout 4. And it's our biggest one yet. My god, it was exciting. November 14th, 2018. Uh -huh. The game goes live with a day one patch of 50 gigabytes. For fuck's sake, I'll see you tomorrow. But once that's downloaded, people start logging into the hellscape that is Fallout 76. Oh, they had a cyberpunk launch. That's tough. Hey, y'all give me the worst video game launches of all time. And it's Fallout in one. And oh dear lord, they never fix the bugs. Fire? And there are so many of them. Goodbye world, goodbye necks, goodbye body, goodbye heads, bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. Server it's crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs imported from Fallout 4. Use more than one nuke at a time, uh. server's dead. Texture's far too texturous, an all-consuming void. Aerolog 307. Can't pick up stuff, can't stop asserting dominance with a T-pose. <laughs> Frame rate problems, screen tear problems, getting too swole, getting underneath the map, getting attacked by invisible enemies, spawning too many enemies. It kinda speaks for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camp resets after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. Holotapes randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more I'll say A than I. Had the Animations are broken. So. Surprise! Floating objects and a traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just butt. the ones that he found personally. That video... Yo, yo, a thousand and one glitches is nuts. ...is three hours long. <laughs> Um, but it gets worse. Error CE348780 can corrupt your data and force you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few PC players had their computers brick entirely. Also, when the date rolled over to the 1st of January 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. No one thought it prudent to program in other years in an always online game. And a few players were straight up logging into other people's accounts. This guy had a level 78 character Ow. that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. But they just said they couldn't do anything <laughs> about it. <laughs> now, many players are I'll not thrilled with this game, and they want Bethesda to know that. And they want everyone else to know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes it is. Banned for racism. Thread locked. <laughs> they had no direct outlet for their rage. The only solution Reddit. was to put a torch to everything else. Reddit. Yup. Twitter. Instagram. Bethesda's other games on Steam. Bro, imagine going to freaking reviews of other games and seeing 
a, a different game getting trashed because they, they, they keep blocking comments. That's crazy. The backlash was immense. But surely level heads Skyrim would prevail. Is trash? The reviewers Damn. would come out and say that the game isn't so bad. Oh dear lord, they hate it. <laughs> This is so sad. Despacito, play Country Roads. Their servers were overheating and crashing. Hey. Almost heaven, <laughs> West Virginia. Two. Blue Ridge. I mean, it's at least like 2.5 is half the points. All right, so that's like a 50%. Is it that bad? Mountains, it's above average. And the YouTube community had this to say. It's really fucking boring. I could barely bring myself to play it in order to finish this review. No one on staff Dang. wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not going to subject myself to another 20, 30 hours <laughs> of this fucking mess. In short, Fallout 76 is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working overtime. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what happened? They're giving well, it, it zero. came out that development was hugely rushed. The deadlines were tight. Too tight. Plus, this wasn't Bethesda's A-Team. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin. And the scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished- We're gonna the need 16 times the detail. Please, <laughs> Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. That and they were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. The fool. <laughs> now, Bethesda could tolerate the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, okay. but what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Um, infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they should. Server that's hopping for more items, <laughs> infinite cash, and infinite duplication. Un hey, that's y'all fault. Y'all, y'all, y'all put the buggy game out, bro. Let me get these glitches off in peace. Limited XP, <laughs> unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted and you could wall clip into the quest room. And someone was given the curse of infinite invincibility. Naturally, this the can curse. really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer. This just works. And a blindfold to wildly flail around and take down anyone who had <laughs> by. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. No, they're a progressive company with big ideas. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. That's right, 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy, and they may just give you your account back. What? But a couple of days later, the mocking from news outlets caused them to reconsider this approach. One more exploit. And all the Imagine trying to ban freaking cheaters, all right? And they troll you like, bruh, we not doing that. And we gonna keep cheating. You're done. There's the games, there's a dev room. <laughs> Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items of the game and it would be an absolute disaster. Facts, facts. Well, shit. Of course, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. At first, Capitalism, they tried baby. the usual Capitalism. approach. Banning people who had some of the best items in the game. You spent 700 hours just to get the best gun? Die, cheater! Next, they put in a system where players would get tagged if they ever entered the room, and they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level one account. Get all nice. that good shit. Switch then get the other account. account. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your Yo, main account uh -huh. and you're good to go. Bethesda then takes out this level <laughs> one and calls it mission accomplished. And you've just beaten the game. So the problem continued. Bethesda is running out of ideas to solve it. There's a lot of speculation in the media and among players about how exactly people are getting in. 
But no one except for Yo, the gamers is out here sure. going crazy, bro. That said, Bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy of the game. So they wrote another email and sent it out to the Smurfs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, hello, Cheetah. Do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you, please? <laughs> Should we not hear back from you, the account will simply remain suspended. It's not known whether this approach worked, but from what I've seen, it's still possible to get into the dev room. There's a dev room in November the game? November 22nd, 2018. Just a week after the release, the game goes on discount. From $60 to $40. To $35. To In a week? In a week? Yo, this game is butt. I never, bro, I've never played a Fallout game. I'll take that back. I played one of the Fallouts for like three minutes at my friend's house one time. But uh, $60 to $40 in two weeks. This game is some dookie, I ain't gonna lie. 30. You can find it for 15 on eBay, and in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. That's crazy. Also, some stores are just zip-tying it to other products. <laughs> but to Bethesda, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero, because it brings people into the Atomic Shop, which is where the real margins are, and it inflates the poor sales figures. Facts, facts. Let's have a look at those. The latest figures show 76 sold less than That's a sixth of what Sorry. Fallout 4 did. <laughs> Not good. There's also been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Although what's the point of a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code? And while sales are low, returns are high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. Mm. 76 is not- Hey, I did that with Elden Ring, I go high, bro. Speed uninstall, give me my money back. On Steam, it's on Bethesda's own platform, so they have all the control. Mm. If players only played the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous, but then word about this spread to forums. Then to Reddit, and a post got 12,500 upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund, and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. And their response? Bro, listen, all my Reddit users out there, I'm gonna try my best to stay on y'all's good side, okay? Because, man, the thing, hey, yo, the combos that Reddit users be putting on companies, content, yo, listen. I don't want no smoke, bro. I don't want no smoke. All right, I'm gonna react to y'all memes. All right, you know what I'm saying? All that great stuff. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Shut it down, Lance. No, no, no one gets a refund now. No Everyone good. go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man, engage. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. <laughs> Customers who have down. Stop. A few things followed. First, people got mad. <laughs> One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Bit of an overreaction, but probably also fake. Second, the media. And third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and terms of service may not be strictly legal. That's crazy. November 27th, 2018. Miglashio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of customers. A month after the Media game quickly came picked out. up on that. Their main argument is that it's a sometimes unplayable game owing to its technical problems, then they're refusing refunds, and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway, and then slowly patch their way into a more playable state. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Ad time. Look, there's a meteor headed straight to Earth. Oh my god. We must do something. Was anyone curious enough to read about it online? Not me. Not me either. Nope. Oh no! Now <laughs> people think I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. What? Don't let this happen to you. Get Curiosity Street. It's a streaming platform with That's... some of the best documentaries and non-fiction from around the world. Partial Curiosity nudity, stream, maybe nebula, if you look hard enough, but more importantly, the most arousing thing of all. 
knowledge. Works for your Roku, Android, etc., etc. It works on everything, okay? Science, nature, history, tech, society. CuriosityStream.com slash Internet Historian for unlimited access to the world's free top documentaries and non-fiction se- Alright, look, listen. Curiosity Stream's going on my, my, my living room TV. I got to get it, bro. I got Use the promo it. code. I'm tired of Netflix. Y'all be having some bomb documentaries, okay? But listen, I be burning through your good documentaries the day they come out. Then I be bored for the next month before y'all drop more of them. Curiosity stream here I come. Internet historian during the sign up process to get the first 30 days free, then cancel any time. Wink. Games. That's tough. Please, look, I need, <laughs> I need sponsors. I, I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper thinking I was saving money, but then I left it out in the rain and the crows got it, and now I'm back to square one. Please, curiositystream.com/slash internet story. <laughs> Ads over. Let's rewind a little bit. Fallout fans made their pre orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. Wow. It came with a helmet, box, map, army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. Fast forward w to the cop, release. And customers noticed that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas in the land, Ooh, yummy. look a bit different. Bruh. In fact, it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. Bruh. Do they really just advertise one thing and deliver another? Oh, they're Can't done! Do that. So there was a surge of backlash, and people began emailing Bethesda, asking Bruh. for refunds, Bruh. asking Bruh. for answers. By this point... Stop playing with gamers out here, boy. I'm telling y'all. Y'all don't want no smoke with the gamers, bro. They gon' Bro. I done seen a lot of Karens in the Yelp comments, all right? It's nothing like Reddit, for, Reddit forums about video games it's, it's no contest customer service is absolutely <laughs> over it they are done with the facade and they send this email in response hello we are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag the bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make we aren't planning on doing anything about it that's the whole email staff at bethesda aren't even hiding their contempt anymore naturally the internet goes wild are you fucking kidding me Wow. Wow. Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything off my face. <laughs> okay, guys, this is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. What do we do? Well, we've got this in-game currency. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. Fantastic idea. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition That's is crazy. hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game <laughs> currency. That you'll be able to spend with us. 500 atoms? Fuck yeah! What are you gonna do with your atoms? I'm gonna buy 5 eighteenths of the white paint version of the power armor. Whoa! What about you? Light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag! He's right! Fuck the bag! Light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate, light wood laminate. Of course, this was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really happened is further outrage, and even the media started piling on. Almost heaven, where's Virgin it even became part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Oh my God. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the bags. A shortage of material, apparently. That was quickly debunked. Because it turns out, they did make the canvas bag, except they gave them all out to influencers. Oh dear. It's not the same one, of course, but it's sourced from that Ooh. ever scarce material, canvas. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the, in game. the game. If you don the postman's outfit, which of course can be found at the atom shop, for 700 atoms. Ooh, just short. Well, the bleating from the online. Yo, Bethesda, hire me, bro. There's no way y'all are y'all are hiring people with with. Hey, I got a college degree, no cap. All right, marketing. Y'all need it, okay? Cause ain't no way this should have happened. All right, yo, fire whoever's in that building. And hey, yo, I heard some other stuff about Bethesda, but I'm a, I'm gonna leave that alone because I don't know the, the details. All right, but it looked like y'all need some new employees. Call me, all right? <laughs> community continued, and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble, so they decided to capitulate. 
All right, fine. We'll make you a precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your name, personal details, address, etc, etc. And we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. But it doesn't quite end there. Because Bethesda is known for bugs. And of course their website is a buggy mess too. Turns out all of the customer support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses and more. If you've requested your canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. Not knowing how to immediately fix the problem, Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole website. And that is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. How could this have been so difficult? They made one for New Vegas. One last piece of merch, a rum drink. Nuka Cola Dark. Pre-orders available in September. Okay. Shipped out on November 14th. $80 plus postage and handling. That's crazy. Not cheap. But in return, you got a very cool bootle. Looks good on the shelf. Facts, a facts. great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Or at least it would have been. November 14th came and went and there was no rum. Majin was good, my boy. Oh! We gotta do Majin's meme comp. Hola, hola. Hey, hey, I'm glad you popped in here, my brother. We're gonna get to that next. Uh, okay. <laughs> a week later on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. Bro, hire me, bro. Hire me. The usual Jesus fallout Christ. standard. And no, I ain't filling out no job application. Because I see what y'all did with all the other information they gave y'all. Y'all doxed everybody. Call me, all right? All of this just works. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. One week later. Nothing. Then on December 5th, another email. Good news. We start shipping on December 12th. It's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered, but as a show of good faith, we made this promotional video for you. And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. That's not the bottle! Right there. Did you catch that? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year for a plastic shell? Bro, get hot, fire your team, please. Ain't no, bro, ain't no way y'all put a promo video showing everybody you can open the bottle, bro. Even if you did it. Oh my God, Bethesda. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. Bethesda, y'all gotta do better, bro. Y'all have to. Uh, I charge for consultations. 20,000 a month. All right, now nah, I'm joking. You know what I'm saying? But call me, bro. There's no way this should be happening. People were not happy. Look at that ratio. Nothing Crazy. in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. People began canceling their orders. Silver Screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty. It actually costs us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Why would you? Shut up! Shut up! You're lying, all right? There's no way you. Do I look like I was born yesterday? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, then what the fuck? We, we spent a hundred hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. So it arrives just a few days before uh. Christmas. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour inside the shell. Hard to pour because how they made this damn thing. I spilled like half the shot. Very dribbly. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheap paper sticker. Some made their own at home and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them. They're on Etsy. They're far cheaper and they actually give a shit. Not gonna lie though, some of the memes that came out of this were pretty good. <laughs> now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. Sorry. Or that customers were at fault for misinterpreting ambiguous marketing. I disagree. 
All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. They give plenty of descriptions of the product too, and not once do they mention plastic. And they were engaged in a bunch of other tomfuckery as well. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. This raised some eyebrows, and people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted them. You can see all this activity on the Wayback Machine. Now, if they're happy to deceive people in this way, it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Some of these items are pretty neat. That's cool. Good idea. I'd have that. Fallout 76 pant. Singular. But why is he so mad? The photography is all just slightly... off. This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. But does the 76 in $276 really make it more immersive? And why did they just toss it on the ground? And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an eye on? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, good job, print? Now that's surprising. And what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. <laughs> yeah, one of those please, but bigger and brown. Is that so hard? Let's get back to the game. December crazy. 2018. There are two new patches released that caused quite a stir. First, the good. For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements, including push to talk. but it also brought in field of view sliders. Hooray! Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds, and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20% of people's inventory. I got a box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> there were also upgrades to the camp that allowed for easier construction, and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray. The bad. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Emo production was decreased. Fusion cores burnt out faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. And the backlash was significant because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it to encourage people to use the Atomic Shop. That's crazy. That's nuts. And let's talk briefly about that store. Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for $12. A Santa outfit for $20. Blue and yellow paint for $18. Oh look, $3 for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. $24 for some Christmas-themed emotes. Okay. Twice the price of these games. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. Oh look, it's marked down half price. But it's not. It was released half price. They're artificially jacking up the price, only to then give it a fake limited time discount in order to create a sense of urgency. That's illegal, here in Australia at least, in Canada and in the EU. Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and it was good, my boy. just setting it as the always intended price. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes of whining now, so I'm just going to leave it here. I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay to win fiasco. The new camera item that lets you teleport, dwindling player numbers. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the oh, game over time. Heck, No video. Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. I've never played. So maybe Bethesda this can do it crazy. too. But for now, Todd Siren returns too. to cryostasis. <laughs> hiding in his Fuck bunker you, until the bombs of outrage oh. stop falling. Oh, and Siren returning too, only in his time Did it come out yet? to get our hopes up. Once again. This is crazy, man. No okay. cap.
curiositystream.com slash internet is Bro, listen, listen. Now, okay, I like, okay, Final Fantasy 15, I think. I bought like bundles and stuff like that. I never really bought button, bro. Listen, I've been poor my whole life, okay? Listen, we had Nintendo 64. You know what I'm saying? We we got the cartridges. That's it. We ain't have, we wasn't there on release day. You know what I'm saying? We got Grand Theft Auto San Andreas two weeks after it dropped. No bundles, no pre-orders, scraping up change, okay? So I never really got like the, the, the headsets and the, the swords and the action figure. I never got that, bro. Um... So I don't know what other games ran into these type of things because I was the, I'm getting the game, all right? I'm playing the game and that's all I'm doing. But Bethesda, all right, look, this this was the most L launch I've ever heard of. If there's any game close, I know Cyberpunk was trash when it came out. I seen the glitches. But look, y'all sold people fake drinks, uh, sold fake uh, bu bu bundles, Y'all got to do better, bro. Please, hire me to your PR team. I will help y'all out. But uh, Holla Squad, appreciate y'all watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Uh, uh, um, l l let's do this. Uh, put, hold up, put this company in prison, all right? Prison. That's what we put in. Make sure y'all go over there. Check my comment out. You know what I'm saying? We going to ah, comment those like that. But until the next time I see y'all, who said we ain't bout it? Test the gang and you'll get touched. You'll get she touched. ride it, Kawasaki, roll my blunts and keep it quiet. Shh. Money is the motor, so we keep it on our mind. On our mind. You get put in the stretch it, yellow tape, so please don't try.